Morning, my friends. Let's have some fun with why the mystery school is like it is. You know, I built this mystery school and how to do these mystery teachings on the internet, because that's a different thing, the internet these days. And how do you do these mystery school teachings with all of these wild animals? And they are definitely wild animals. This, this is a video where I almost would want to put it on Patreon behind like a, a paywall just because I wouldn't want this guy to see it or any of his, um, I wouldn't call them students because it's not students. It's not a school. It's not, uh, it's a bunch of random opinions and um, chaos. And this is what needs to stop. This is exactly what needs to stop the postmodernism and letting people do you as as a youtube channel that you're going to enlighten people i don't know whatever you're claiming to do you're teaching people you're enlightening people the the first rule of all this stuff is a teacher needs to be in control of their own classroom this um internet is lord of the flies if if i did my mystery school and i let everybody do this to me I would take no joy in it and I would never do it again. This is exactly what I'm trying to prevent with everything that I do. So let's take a look at it. Just a you, know, you know, this was a live stream that he had 18 hours ago and I wanted to listen to it and it was horrible. It was absolutely horrible. Dollars. And um, the thing is, is it's very true. If you go out there today and you, 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 you look at all, I see, like I said, there's a bunch of YouTube videos out there. That oh, and then how impossible is this? You have a, a bunch of wild animals, no order in your classroom whatsoever. The students think that they are the teacher. They think that they're equivalent. You've, you've created communism. Then it's going to make it absolutely impossible to do a legitimate, serious video on an, a, one where you deserve to be paid for it about... um the truth about supernatural abilities and consciousness. Bro, you got way too many crazy people, way too many mentally ill people to be talking about the truth of spiritual spiritual abilities. Well, we're, we're, and yeah, it got absolutely nowhere. No, what a waste of time. Oh, how, how. That, that's what I would feel if that's what my mystery school was I would feel like, what a waste, but you collect a great paycheck. You get thousands of views, tons of people on your Patreon, and they all love you because you do the compromise with them. You let them believe in fictions while the video is supposed to be, what's the truth about supernatural things? You know, you got to lay the law down, man. You got to be a real teacher and take control. Well, I guess you be a real teacher and you take control of your classroom and the world will kill you like Jesus Christ, or you do what you're doing, and then you make a lot of money off of that. But nobody ever learns. And nobody ever learns, and everybody, and it's all done at everybody's expense. And then you make a lot of money. So we all lose, but you make a lot of money. Then if you did a real mystery school, all of us would win, but you would make almost no money at all your third eye you know that's the real thing of what jesus christ was talking about about money and all that kind of stuff that's the real thing do, do you make everybody a sacrifice for you to make all the money and then nobody ever learns and you stroked everybody's ego in the process and manifest a billion dollars and no see, let's let's look at that let's look at that let's look at the stupid shit that you have to entertain because you're afraid. You're afraid to do what I do, but everybody's afraid to do what I do. Way, you may think. So he starts off by saying, when I first got into spirituality, I thought it was about learning how to levitate, heal, bend spoons with my mind, communicate telepathically, and manifest a billion dollars. Well, that's, of course, that's every single person of the general public. They have no idea what there is to learn. They think that they already know it through their fabricated lies. 
they they knew they never knew that there was any they think that nothing could be beyond them boy we should go look at the definition of yalta bayoth it's somebody who believes that there's nothing beyond their opinion system that's yalta bayoth yalta bayoth he goes i'm god then a voice came the real god's voice came and said hey you better look again you ain't the end all be all of everything. And then Yalta Bayoth, he couldn't even comprehend where that was coming from and still went, nope, I can't see beyond myself. I'm the end all be all of it all. And spoons with my mind. Yeah, to every single person that approaches a mystery school. So we should know that. We should know that that's mystery school curriculum. We should know every single person they're not going to know. So they're going to fabricate these opinions until we straighten them out. So every single person's going to think, what, what, you mean, like, I'm going to levitate? I'm going to be like, um, oh, who, who, I'm going to be Chris Angel, mind freak? Telepathically and manifest a billion dollars. Now, and now I better say, I should say it. I want to play the video, but I should say it that... You know what's amazing about this guy? Why why I would make a video on him? Because he, he's a credible person, and I like him. He doesn't entertain this stuff. Like, I wouldn't make a video on it if this guy was a mentally ill person that entertained. This is what makes it intriguing. It's what he's walking the line. Well, shit, do I be a real teacher? Shit, if I be a real teacher, not many people are going to join my Patreon. But... If I so you're trying to figure out, bro, how much of a teacher you're supposed to supposed to be and how much money you're not gonna make. Spirituality. I thought it was about learning how to levitate, heal, bend spoons with my mind, communicate telepathically, and manifest a billion dollars. And um the thing is, is it's very true. If you go out there Oh today, my god, isn't it? It's so the the green, the wet behind the ears and green. They e never even knew that there was anything to learn. It's like we open up the world of, hey, you don't even know yourself. Hey, how about me? How about if I show you to yourself? Then you're going to give up this whole thing of, I thought spirituality was, I was, I was going to do a bunch of magic tricks like David Blaine. Oh no, the magic trick is how you lie to yourself and you hide it. Oh, do you know what enlightenment is? Is when you learn how to lie, how you lie to yourself. You know, we should be teaching everybody how they lie to themselves and hide it and how good they are at doing this. And they convince themselves that they're really great people. And when you very first come to the mystery school, you're going to think all this shit is like, am I, am I going to learn levitation? Oh, no, you're going to learn about you. Oh, you thought that there was nothing to learn about you because you're so good at hiding you from you. You need relief from you. You need education in yourself, not about how we're going to levitate. That was just another scam that you did on yourself. And you, 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 you look at all, I see, like I said, there's a bunch of YouTube videos out there that talks about how, how to unlock your third eye in 30 seconds. Do you see why I like this guy? He's trying to tell you that it's bullshit. He's trying to tell you, but see, nobody know. It seems to be me, but it's like the life I've lived that led me to the solution to all this is the teachings of Jesus Christ. Just like all of history has always said, you can't do this without Jesus Christ. His teachings are meant to do it. The thing is, is it's very true. If so I, that's why this guy is so awesome because he's trying to figure out, well, shit, how much of a teacher do I be? But he's enough of a teacher to let you know that, oh no, oh no, you're not going to be learning how to levitate fucking spoons and shit. Bend spoons with my mind. Uh, am I going to learn how to bend spoons with my mind like they did in the Matrix movie? Communicate telepathically and manifest a billion dollars. And um, the thing is, is it's very true. If you go out there today. And so you, you... so like the, there's this is what it is. The whole live stream. We never get anywhere with any fuck. It's like this vicious circle. You, you look at all, I see, like I said, there's a bunch of YouTube videos out there that talks about how, oh, how to unlock oh, your... Oh, I know how to cut to the chase. Let me introduce you to my friend, Jesus Christ. Oh, I won't have to do any of the work. Oh, uh, let me teach you how to challenge yourself up against the perfect man. 
And the perfect man is going to destroy who you believe you are, everything you believe in, not going to left one, not going to leave one stone upon another. And then I'll say, oh, that was, oh, there's Jesus Christ's purpose. Oh, Jesus Christ does it for me. I just have to introduce people to my great friend, Jesus Christ, and he has already done all of this work. It was done at the foundation of creation of this planet earth creation it was already all figured out and done and jesus christ already um, did the battle and won the war and it's it's just another one of these times that we think the and and you you're going to end up at this battlefield and jesus christ already laid waste to everything battle already done jesus christ already won it's like we're living in ancient history and shit and uh, like repeating history where all these problems were already solved third eye in 30 seconds and make 50 yeah i love i love this tell me tell me more people watching youtube videos about opening your third eye i'll show you how to open your third eye would you like to meet my friend jesus christ who teaches you how to open your third eye because that's the door of jesus that's the exit in the truman movie when truman exited through that door he exited through his own third eye a billion dollars and he exited through the stargate known as your third eye um, the thing is, is it's very true. If you go out there today and you, 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 you look at all, I see, like I said, there's a bunch of YouTube videos out there that talks about how, how to unlock your third eye in 30 seconds and make $50,000 or oh, how what? to make me laugh in 30 seconds, how to open your third, Jesus Christ will teach you how to open your third eye in 30 seconds. And it will be only Jesus Christ. Or how to so we should have a great laugh at that. Cause only the perfect man could open somebody's third eye in 30 seconds manifested ferrari or whatever like that's a bunch of bs and uh yeah i love this you see why i love this guy he's not dancing around this shit but dude your whole live stream is dancing around it and we never get anywhere with it you gotta fucking put your foot down man you gotta put your foot down you gotta take control of your own classroom and they have to understand that the ego destruction is the mystery school what you're doing is mystery school they have to understand it's not personal this is this is it's part of it when you tell them hey you're full of shit you should tell them that they're full of shit more often you should tell them that they're full of shit with everything you should turn on that movie jesus of nazareth pull up the old prodigal son part and show them how they're peter and then Peter fell to his knees going, oh, wait a minute, I'm the dumbest motherfucker that ever existed and I didn't even know it. There's no way for me to know it. Then Jesus Christ showed it to me. Then you should tell them, that's all you guys. Hey, hey, you're Peter. You're Peter who falls to his knees and goes, oh shit, I didn't know how dumb I am. So realize that. There's a T, there's something to, there's something, there is something right there, huh? really careful because it's not just about you know youtube videos or new age gurus or influencers or things like that but there's also a lot of nefarious occult groups. dude i'm so I'm, I'm your brother man i am so on your side i am just if there was ever a side i mean the side to be on is the kingdom of god it's beyond all sides we're forced through duality to say silly sayings like oh i'm on this side and i'm on that side but there's only one side to be on. It's the, the the door of Jesus Christ is the side to be on. That is the side of no side. That is the exit door, which is the solution to this problem. We'll do sort of the same thing. I've seen ads from uh, occult societies, um, you know, that were and, about... And like I find that that's... I tried to listen to the live stream and that's all it... He's telling everybody that they're full of shit, but that was the whole live stream. It was the whole live stream, people bringing shit up to you. And then it's like, okay, you're believing in fairy tales. You just have to tell everybody over and over and over again that no, you're not going to learn how to levitate. You're not going to learn how to bend spoons with your mind. You're going to learn about yourself. You're going to get to know you. And that's what heals all of this. When you get to know you. Maybe this was like 30 years ago or something, but they advertise like, oh, join us and you're going to learn how to bend spoons and levitate objects and read auras and, and all these different things. So and G Jesus Christ is going to teach us how to move mountains to so much farther beyond bending a fucking spoon. Really? I laugh at your bending spoons while I move mountains. 
again, that's just uh, a bunch of BS. You, 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 you try, you watch the movie, the matrix. I say, I, I go around moving mountains daily and somehow some people were thinking that all those esoteric teachings somehow meant that you were going to bend a spoon with your mind, but it was really the teaching that Jesus Christ is going to teach you how to move mountains. You are going to be greater than Jesus Christ. I didn't say that. It's Jesus Christ who said that. He said, you know who he said it to? He said it to you trying to hook you and pull you in. I'll tell you right now, if anyone can read minds, they'd be the most famous person in the world. You got that, man. You should. And this guy knows because he's a street. He was a street performer. He might have been. This is my kind of guy. This is my kind of fucking weirdo Hollywood, Los Angeles buddy. This is my friend right here. Now, is it possible that one... An my weirdo street performing friend be extremely intuitive and perhaps be able to pick up on certain things. Yes, I believe that's very possible. Oh, and people try to badger him with the intuitive thing. And then he has to explain intuition and we never get anywhere with anything. Some people Just a big old circle jerk. Be extremely intuitive, but it's not at the degree where you can have a, a show on Vegas and just tell someone what they're thinking. Do you see why I love this guy? Look how he's straightening everything out. But the problem is, is we never get anywhere because there's no order in the classroom. So the entire time we're just straightening people out like this. You can't, that's not possible. If that were possible, we'd have evidence of it. These people would be extremely famous. Oh, these, these people never knew what there was to learn, man. If you're saying stupid shit like that, you never knew the vastness of what there is to know and learn and know about yourself and the human condition and narcissistic personality disorder and why the world's upside down. And stupid people think, I, I'm going to learn about levitating or, or bending spoons with my mind. Oh, you're going to learn how to move mountains by the time we're done here. Fuck your spoons. La I laugh at your spoons, spoon man. Etc. Um, like I said, there might be some subtle abilities. I believe that's very possible. But as far as human consciousness goes right now, we're not at that level yet. So uh, Kim is essentially is saying that he thought it was about levitating, healing, bending spoons with his mind, communicating telepathically, manifesting billion dollars. And I'll tell you, it's not about that. If you're getting into spirituality or consciousness because you think it's about that, just no. This is good. Good. This is not I a channel for bro, you. Bro, that that's uh, the shit, dude. Dude, I I take it back. I take you're laying down the law. I take it back. I, you you are laying down. You're doing it, man. I take Some it back. Other channel. I, I take it back. I tell you, you told him to take a fucking hike. Look at that. I paused. Look at his face and his thumb. Take a hike, motherfucker. Get the fuck out of my mystery school. I, I love you, bro. I take it back. I think you are laying down the law. No, this is this is not the channel for you. Uh, you can go watch some. Other yeah, channel. yeah. Go to that flat earth fucking go, go to some of the mentally ill people where you belong and shit. Well, don't worry. We'll show up later. We'll round you all up, put you in a concentration camp and kill you. Don't worry about it the parent that tells you how you can do that. You're not going to be able to do that. Um, that's what's another thing that's really, you have to be careful with, for example, like the law of attraction, the law of attraction is all about, Oh, manifest the reality you want. Like attracts like, Oh my God, stupid people, fucking stupid people, stupid people that don't know how things work. And they're just manipulators and horrible, evil fucking people. And they want to know how they, they have no education in anything. All this shit takes a vast education. And they think, I, I can know what the law of attraction... They think it's their manipulation. They think that they already know it. They don't know what the law of attraction is, how any of these things work. And it's... No, it's like how I manipulate people already. What you have to do is think about getting checks in the mail and put pictures on the wall about... Tell, tell them how they're full of shit, man. Tell them how they're all full of... That's what a mystery school teacher does. Your dream house, and you're just going to start getting abundance. Abundance is just going to flow into your life. That's not how it works. The law of attraction is based on an old occult principle, but they removed a very important part. I, I take it back. This dude's laying down the law. Which is about dealing with will and action. So in addition to visualizations, which are important, if you have a goal that you want to achieve, you need to visualize it. Uh, absolutely. Uh, like if you're playing guitar, you're going to have to visualize it. If you're hitting the baseball, you're going to have to visualize it. We, that's, that's how that teaching works. We do that with everything in life. Yeah, that is the, the real thing. 
You raise your consciousness. You're going. I, I just want to go. Uh, let's go forward a little bit in this. Thought I was dreaming. I was really obsessed with finding that treasure in the castle or whatever dream you're having. But now that I know that this is a dream, I realize I don't have to find importance in that. I can go do something completely different. I can go do experimenting. I can go do exploring. I can go. I have all all these other scenarios are now, now laid out before you. The same thing happens when you reach a new consciousness. When you reach a higher consciousness, you become lucid. You become awake in that way. And yeah, you they, realize they, they, there's no way they can comprehend what you're talking about, dude. There's no way that if you're talking about like enlightenment and it, like it's it's just food for their egos. They have to do it for real to get there. You can do many different things in reality and you don't become so focused on the things that humans are focused on. That's how you know that those channels are BS. They tell you like, oh, do this and you can manifest a billion dollars. And they're still focused on human mundane um, activities. Now, that's not to say that there's anything wrong with having a nice house or, or, or something like that. You don't I, have I know that's their paradox. That's their, it's another, all these teachings teach you past that. And yeah, that's their limited education and where we're trying to take them past all that. They'll never be able to think their way into it. We have to give them the teachings so that they can discover it themselves become a monk and give up material possessions i'm not talking about that but your priorities change so for example Ex my that's the life-changing stuff when i'm talking about in every video i think he's gonna say it. it it seems like he's gonna say that he's gonna tell you how your life gets changed when you learn things these esoteric things these teachings of jesus christ it prevents you from being the person that you used to be whether you're aware of it or not it completely changes you. A lot of the time, you guys don't notice. A lot of the time, I, w I used to make a lot of videos, follow-up videos, where it would be like I'd make a, a video and go, hey guys, let, let's go back and let me show you how much you've actually learned. Because you walk a mile in your own shoes. It's difficult with all these things to see how you have drastically changed as a person. Uh, you being here at the mystery school, it's completely changed you as a person altogether. You might not see it because you live in your own skin. It, it might take somebody that knows that's always known you, and then they look at you now and go, whoa, you're completely different now than you used to be three years ago. Whoa, you're a completely different person. Talking about that, but your priorities change. So, for example, money, instead of being an end into itself, becomes a means to an end. You understand that you can utilize this for. Uh, he's right. He's right. You used to be confused about money. You used to be confused about this. You, you were confused of, wait a minute, am I supposed to have it all or get rid of it all? You know, a, a duality. There's a solution beyond duality. So you learn, oh, wait a minute, money is purposeful. It's not a um, good or bad, positive, negative. It has a function in the world. Self becomes a means to an end. You understand that you can utilize this for uh, accomplishing your goals or your passions, etc., things of that nature. You realize that um, all these things are um, able to help you become a more actualized individual, things of that nature. So, um, and, and again, when people are saying like, it'll make you rich and all that stuff, that's, that's not what it's about. Again, there's nothing wrong with having nice things and having a nice house and having a nice car. That's totally fine. There's nothing wrong with it. But those people who are telling uh, you that, it's so difficult, those teachings of Jesus Christ, everybody is, as our ego gets a hold of them. And then we think we're supposed to be poor and homeless. And that's not what Je that's not how the teachings and you're right. Yeah, that's not how the teachings of Jesus Christ work. But it's how everybody comprehends it. Well, you can use your spiritual law of attraction to have these things flow into your life. That is not, yeah, you know what it is, is it's a riddle that you can't serve two gods. You can't serve your God of money. But did you know that wasn't like a binary? That wasn't an on off. It wasn't a red blue that it was a challenge to solve that riddle. So you're going to have to use money for life. Um, so how are we going to make it? so that it's not our God. And then you still get to have a nice house. You still get to have nice things. What this is about, that is not what 
having a higher consciousness is about. Having a higher consciousness is about stepping into a new uh, reality and having that perspective shift. And not only do you have a perspective shift... He couldn't be more accurate. He couldn't be more accurate on what real enlightenment is. It's a perspective shift. We That would be the lightest way to say it. I mean, in the totality, the fullness of this is you are completely destroyed and rebuilt in Jesus Christ. So to like say it the, the lightest way with the least impact um, possible would be just saying that you have a perspective shift. Well, this perspective shift doesn't allow you to be the person that you previously were. See, these are the this is the solution. If you want to change your life, you're not going to be able to. You're going to wake up every day going, oh yeah, yesterday. Oh yeah, yesterday I said that I was going to like change my life and then I forgot. No, see, when you do these things for real, it, it, it changes your life and there's no there's nothing that you tried to do. It does it for you. Jesus Christ does it for you for you. If you try to do it yourself, you won't be able to. You'll become a self-loather and then you'll wake up every morning and go, oh yeah, I forgot to change. Oh, well, you didn't have the tools. You didn't have the things that change your perspective. You didn't have, it requires the teachings of Jesus Christ to change your perspective, to change your life. You will, once again, you'll never be able to do it yourself. You'll always wake up the next day going, oh yeah, I forgot. Wasn't I going to change? That is not what this is about. That is not what having a higher consciousness is about. Having a higher consciousness is about stepping into a new uh, reality and having that perspective shift. And not only do you have a perspective shift in understanding that reality is completely different and thus being able to have more choices and patterns open to you. And um, hey, if you want to use that ability. Oh, he, he did it again. It, like it's so much more grand. It's so much more glorious. When I hear that you guys, when I you leave a comment of like, oh, I'm rediscovering all the music that I used to love because now I can understand the message that's in it. How much fun you have just out and about in the world now understanding architecture and the symbolism of the world. When you're, when you're comprehending movies and you're understanding the archetypes and you're understanding the message and you're understanding it's a completely new world, a completely new life that you're born into when you're like, look at all these toys and presents. Look how my movies and my TV and my music and look how all these things work. And I was blind of it all my life. And understanding that reality is completely different and thus being able to have more choices. See, that's what he's saying. It's so um, with no impact. He's saying, oh, you'll have more choices. It's not easy to say. That when people learn how to watch a movie, the music, that is, you're, you, you, you have access to all of the world where you never had access to it. You used to live a demi-urge life and the demi-urge can't comprehend art. It can't comprehend all these things and it can't comprehend the context of them. So it's a big deal. It is so much more then, oh, well, we just have more choices in life. But, I mean, if you wanted to put it simply, yeah, I guess that's the most simple way that it, it could be said, just saying that you have uh, more options in life. And and when I turn on my TV here, I got my TV on right in front of me. I'm sitting on my couch making this video with the, the computer on my lap. Um, got my coffee, which I'm kind of quitting drinking. But I turn on the TV and it goes to one of these like apps, not, not like standard TV. And then I somehow got it on Baywatch. Now when I turn on my TV, it's Baywatch. But oh my God, Nicole Eckhart is just fucking hot as fuck. And that, that's what I wanted to say. I just wanted to say in my little Baywatch spiel to go, like, damn, Nicole Eckhart's hot. Understanding that reality is completely different and thus being able to have more choices and patterns open to you. And um, hey, if you want to use that ability to make money or whatever, you can. But once you're at that level, you realize there are many different things you can use that ability to do. And that that particular option becomes a lot less interesting. Oh, what, what's amazing, though, of what you just said, which we missed, is you're implying that everybody steps into their own. Well, previously, most people wouldn't be stepping, you would be teaching them and giving them the ability 
to step into their own to where they're creative beings now and they can take all that creativity and make something that complements the world itself and has it become a lot less interesting well imagine like beavers that are really obsessed with making dams like beavers got, got to make the dam got to make the dam i'm a beaver i make dams that's what i do well if a beaver beaver like became self-aware it'd be like oh wow well that's you know that's kind of really lame i don't really need to do that there's much more interesting things that i could do it's kind of that, i love that that was a great analogy that was a great uh, if the beaver came self-aware it would be like oh i thought this shit was all majesty and shit it's kind of boring building uh, always building the dam the example that was, a, that, what, what, that was a great that was one of the best analogies i could ever i couldn't think of one that good that was like you nailed it with that i don't really need to do that there's much more interesting things that i could do it's kind of a silly example i don't think it's a silly example bro i think that you just hit that nail right on the head but you get what i mean now um uh so okay so another thing to understand is that it lets you see reality in a completely new way where oh, it's, it's like you're trying to explain the teachings of jesus christ without the teachings of jesus christ it lets you see reality in a whole new way it lets you do this and then i just go teachings of jesus christ mm. Uh, so, okay, so another thing to understand is that it lets you see reality in a completely new way where it's sort of like, when I mean it makes you see reality in, 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 a, in a new way, it's a bit like the Matrix, okay? So when Neo... Absolutely, there's no way to explain it, bro. They used to follow that collective consciousness. They were a bitch of Joe Biden. They weren't allowed to know themselves. They ridiculed everything. They were their own greatest enemy. They were the, dem the demi-urge itself. I don't know how we could put this into words. The, on uh, the only way... I think we can do it is we have to educate people and then they get on the other side of it and then they go, I know what you were talking about now. And I understand how there was no words. There was no way that this could ever be conveyed to me. I actually had to do it myself to understand what you're saying here. Uh, you know, became the one or whatever. He saw like the code of reality. Do you literally see things break down in the code and all that? No. What we do is we go out and we understand all the architecture. We understand that the, the world has a code. It has a rhyme and a reason. Our architecture is all coded. Our movies are everything's all, all already with the door of Jesus Christ as the solution for it all. We would be opening our eyes to what's already there. When you see reality in a different way, nothing visually changes. There is no visual change. There is no visual distortion. You don't start seeing things. Is that you wake up to what's already there and you go, Does ever, isn't that funny? When you wake up to it, you think that you're the last one. You wake up to this shit and you think everybody knows, but and you're like the last one to know. And really nobody knows. And you're just waking up to what's already there. What has always been there. What we have always been doing as people don't you don't start seeing waves you don't start seeing code nothing like that happens but you do see reality in a completely different way you start understanding how things relate to each other everything is conceptually different and another way to understand that is to think about the perception between an animal and a human being an animal sees the same world that you see with some minor differences you know animals probably seen um, in black and white some animals and a human see in color and, and have different qualitative experiences, but we're not talking about that. I don't mean that. Just pretend that an animal sees the world in the exact same way a human does. Sure, man. I got no problem with that, but I'm sure everybody else will. Same visual experience. Oh, they'll have such a, their egos will get all in the way, but it was, it's too easy. Animal sees the world and a human sees the world, but guess what? They see the world in completely different ways. An animal sees the world in the way that it does, and a human visually sees the world, but it's conceptualized completely different. And what does this conceptualization do? It allows the human being to do many different things that an animal can't do. The human being can establish uh, society, civilization. Oh, you're, you're talking about the way that you're educating your own audience, bro. And see it's great. These groups, cultures, can think ahead, plan for the future, etc. 
when you step into a higher consciousness, same thing happens. Compared to a regular human and a new higher consciousness, the world is conceptualized in a completely different way. It gives one's new abilities when human beings come to a higher consciousness. You conceptualize the world as the solution. You conceptualize the world as the door of Jesus Christ. I'm just putting it like that's a simple way. It's like, isn't that what's changed? For everybody, you you wake up to what was there. What was there? Jesus Christ hidden in everything. This, it'll give us the ability to establish a planetary civilization, which requires that consciousness. We, if we ask, where did civilized civilization even come from? We weren't even able to make this shit without doing it through the teachings of Jesus Christ us not to just plan for any close near futures but allows us to project far into the future and think about generations it allows us to think about our actions on the universal whole not just what, what what's wrong with civilization right now everybody abandoned jesus christ to do it all through their opinions and do you see how the defective the world is these days our individual planet but how instead of doing things through one Instead of doing things through ultimate truth of self-evident truth of all human beings, now all human beings believe that the truth is their random of ego opinions while they believe truth is something that doesn't exist. Pulls across the universe and affects all reality. So you see how a higher consciousness, like going from animalistic consciousness to human consciousness, going from human consciousness to a hyper-awareness, totally alters your conceptualization of reality, allows one to have a different abilities by being able to project much further, understand consequences, develop the analog all, which is an in internal model of the universe itself, and understand how one, uh, via the butterfly effect and, and uh, chaos theory, etc., really affects the world and, and the universe as a but, whole. But still, I guess this would be my gripe, but it's not a gripe. I'm not, I'm not like... Um going out to fix everybody. I'm not a YouTuber that exposes everybody. And that's like my one trick pony thing. You know what it is? It's since you don't know that the, the end road of this, it actually ends at Jesus Christ, all this esoteric stuff. Doesn't matter how you want to package it, how you want to sell it, how you want to do anything. The end road of all this stuff is Jesus Christ. And since you're not knowing that or saying it, or it's making everything loose. It's making everything random. It's making everything like up in the air. That's why I say through this whole live stream, it's like we spun our wheels and nobody ever learned shit. And they all just went on with their dumb idiot opinions. So most people that watched your live stream, bro, 4,000 right here, uh, there's probably maybe 10 people that could somewhat comprehend it. They just override you with their own opinions everything becomes completely altered. What else does it do? It allows one to understand and become immortal. How does one become immortal? Yeah, but, but since none of this is rooted in Jesus Christ, it's just like everything you're saying is truth, but it's so random. It's just so all over the place. It's like a wild classroom. You know, everyone's trying to find... I'm, I'm thinking it's Jesus Christ that brings order. Jesus Christ brings order to this chaos that you have. The answer to immortality, etc. Well, the answer to immortality is that it's just a realization. We are all immortal. It just takes you to be able to look inside and realize it, to realize that you are. Yeah, so so up in the air. Let's go let's like go closer to the end. You have a conceptual version of yourself, the analog eye. Oh, this is so good. I think towards the end you you put down everybody's comments and you just ignore everybody. And then you actually just lay down some shit, some hardcore shit. And when we surf on the infinite wave. So let's end it here. I hope everyone had a lot of fun with this. This is just about bringing you to more of your own realization and why the mystery school is, a, is like it is. A, a classroom needs to bring order. But did you know what I, I learned through this? I'm trying to figure out why his classroom doesn't have order and i'm thinking oh you got to put your foot down but we've discovered a real discovery his classroom has no order because it doesn't have jesus christ jesus christ brings the order jesus christ brings the real law jesus christ brings the teachings jesus christ is the end road jesus christ is justice so if you leave jesus christ out of all of that 
Well, you have a wild classroom that's just uh, all over the place at all the all wild students, wild animal students, no structure, no curriculum. Everybody's just a wild animal with all their wild opinions. No, no, no rock of God, no self-evident truth. We're not all on the same page in your classroom. Everybody's on their own page. And that's not truth. That's not love. That's not the solution. To all this, we're supposed to be on the same page, the rock of God, the truth. The truth is the same for all of us. Why do all your students think that they get to have random opinions that are their truth? That's not the truth. That's a bunch of wild animals thinking that they can manipulate anything any way that they want. So I hope everybody had a lot of fun with this. And I hope you have the greatest day and the greatest life. And then I would have to say, I'd have to double back and say, Everybody knows that um, this isn't like a thing of where I'm criticizing this guy or anything. I'm, I just like to do mystery school teacher with mystery school teacher. I find that that's where we gain real high education. Like we take the things that people would say behind closed doors. A mystery school teacher talks to the other mystery school teacher and they do it behind closed doors. And I say, no, let's do it in front of everybody. No, let's have a let's have a conversation. Mystery school teacher to mystery school teacher because it's going to be such a great enlightenment for the students themselves. So I hope everyone has the greatest day and the greatest life.